Yeah, you talked a little bit last week about how you kind of influenced Darwin, kind of giving him some pointers <laughs> and looked out for him a little bit. Um, can you expand a little on that about what kind of influence he's had on the locker room and what you kind of pointed out to him? Uh, just, you know, little things that, you know, a guy who's been around the league and been a lot of places can tell one of the younger kids coming in, um, especially obviously coming from the area. It's a little bit different, so it's, it's always nice for me to have one of the younger guys from my area coming in and coming up and kind of passing the torch. He's going to be a great player, obviously, at UW. He had a great career, and I don't expect anything less of him here. So it's just all I told him to do is kind of uh, do the same thing, play as simple as possible, give the ball to Oban Clint as much as you can, and you'll be fine because that's my game plan. <laughs> it's worked out for me. What have you seen from him so far this week? Uh, just kind of the same things. I mean, I've known – Darwin for a long time and he's been in and out with us so uh, nothing new I mean he's a fast player great left foot uh, good head on his shoulders and he does play simple um, but he also has the ability to go one on one which uh, is another one of his strong points and with that speed like I said just playing simple balls and making runs off of it he's going to do great. How do you think the preseason has compared so far to previous years? Uh, good. In previous years, we obviously had a lot of turnover, so there was a lot of trying to get to know guys and, you know, kind of know their customs. But now it seems like we have, you know, pretty much the same uh, guys, especially on the offensive side. So for me, being an offensive player, it's it's easy to connect with the exact same players and then obviously bring in younger players in. Like I said, Darwin, him moving off the ball is, is great. And I kind of we played together, so I know where some of those guys are already going to be. Do you feel like there's a little bit more hunger in terms of you came so close last year? Absolutely, and I think that kind of stems also from having the the same players on the team. You know, when it kind of transfers over, there might be a little bit lack of that. But with the same players, we all know how close we were and how, you know, uh, what the potential we had left last year. And so we just want to build off that. What goals have you set for yourself, and do you expect to play any different role as far as uh, midfield this year? Uh, it's kind of whatever the coaches want. You know, I think I've always, been throughout my career, had that mentality wherever they want to play me. Uh, it's fine by me. Uh, I do like forward a lot more than I like outside mid. A little bit less responsibility defensively, but I always am willing to put the work in. Uh, just as one of the players coming back, like I said, you know, kind of showing Darwin how, showing the ropes. And uh, yeah, I think for a goal for me is to be a lot more consistent this year. Uh, I think with through the years I've showed that consistency has built and built and built, and hopefully it can be a, a real strong point this season. Uh, possibly. I think um, the work that I put in defensively might kind of add me to the outside mid a little bit more, but I mean, that's nothing new to me. I think we have great players that can fill in for Ozzy. Obviously, you're not going to replace and Alonzo, so it's uh, kind of a misfortune there, but I definitely think we have guys coming up in, you know, a ton of center mids that have a great talent that can fill in for them. Hey, Lamar, Brad's been really outspoken about the labor issues and stuff like that. What are your thoughts on that going forward? And I know you're about a month away here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have to have the same mentality. You know, we have to be ready for um, for the season to start March 8th. And if that doesn't happen, then that's just something that, you know, we have to deal with at the time. But right now, it's it's business as usual. As a player, the free agency would be just a mind-blowing thing for all you guys. I mean, it's something. do you think about that at all in terms of maybe my future? Uh, I mean, definitely as a, you know, a future and as, you know, kind of the future in sports in America is gone. That's been the way it's gone. So. Definitely you think about that, you know, you think about when the minimum is going to be like a million for all of us, but <laughs> I don't know if that's happening anytime soon. Um, so yeah, like I said, just kind of business as usual and, and getting ready for March 8th. Are you excited to go back to Tucson? Yeah. Warm. warm weather. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, it should be a good trip. Outside of the warm weather, is there any way, is there any particular characteristic about having training camp in Arizona every single year that kind of stands out to you? Uh. Not really for me. I mean, I have uh, going to school in Vegas. I have a lot of old teammates that that live in Arizona, so I do get to see some friendly faces down there. So that's always nice. I've heard from some of the other players that they like the camaraderie that builds when he goes to these training camps, either in California or in Arizona. Do you think that's kind of beneficial for you guys, kind of getting away from families and outside? Yeah, I think that's definitely you know part of the part of the process and part of the reason we do it. Um, especially for kind of guys who live here, it's easy for us to you know just go back to family and uh, some of the other guys don't have that. So once we're in training camp, you know you get little inside jokes and little games that you guys play on each other, and you get a lot closer, kind of rooming with one of the other guys.